for joining me here from here in Washington is Nina Xiang. She's the founder of China Money Network and the author of Red AI Victories and Warnings from China's Rise in Artificial Intelligence. Welcome, Nina. Thank you. Good to be here. Good to always have you on. Uh, let's start from the user perspective. Why this information protection law now? Why is it so important? Well, um, because pretty much the Chinese tech companies have been uh, exploiting user data to their own benefit without any consideration or very little consideration uh, for personal data protection. Uh, they have been uh, using algorithms to uh, set prices uh, that's discriminating uh, based on uh, personal uh, behavior. So this has been some, you know, some of the central complaints by Chinese internet users. And also uh, you know, collection of uh, biometrics data from uh, facial recognition cameras, how to handle personal, uh, very sensitive, per sensitive personal information, and cross-border uh, data transfers. These are also some of the concerns uh, that this new law is trying to address. Uh, so, how might these new policies then, Nina, you know, affect the practices of uh, tech companies in particular? Because really, we've seen a string of new legislation really starting to regulate the way they conduct business. Exactly. Uh, the personal information protection law is just one of many new laws and regulations uh, that Chinese tech companies have to uh, deal with in a much more stricter regulatory environment. Uh, but companies like uh, ByteDance, uh, JD.com and Taobao, they have recently updated their systems to uh, add encryption to their user data. They have also taken measures uh, to desensitize sensitive uh, personal data and stop sharing sensitive uh, personal uh, user data with uh, service providers. And of course, we have seen uh, Chinese tech shares uh, under pressure as investors are concerned that these new laws are not, you know, not only going to add additional compliance and operational costs to these companies, but also it's going to hurt their margins, uh, potentially disrupt the business model, and also damage their global competitiveness. Mm. And what about the, implementi the implementation of all these things? Are systems uh, in place currently to monitor infringements on, of privacy? Uh, more of a technical issue is this? Right. Um, this new law is not going to be uh, in uh, implementation until November 1st. But uh, like I just said, companies have already been taking a lot of measures uh, as there are a string of uh, new regulations and, uh, and policies they have to deal with. But uh, implementation will actually face uh, some great challenges. Take e-commerce, for example. You know, during this whole online uh, shopping process, personal data, sensitive personal data, will have to be shared among different players, including the seller, the e-commerce platforms, the warehouses, the delivery companies, and service providers. How to ensure that all this data are going to be protected according to the law during this process will take great effort. And also, this new law has pretty strict requirement for cross-border data transfer. So that's going to create new problems for uh, multinational companies operating in China, like, you know, am mm. I illegally transferring data by sending this email? So those are all the questions and tricky issues that companies will have to figure out during the implementation of the new law. And lastly, Nina, you know, with new laws, typically also come new opportunities. Uh, do you see companies perhaps capitalizing on these, you know, uh, especially those that perhaps cater to the protection of data? Yeah, exactly. Uh, this actually will create some opportunities for companies, uh, you know, who's going to help provide solutions for companies to comply with this new law. And of course, uh, you know, the, the engineers and uh, the lawyers uh, inside many of the tech companies are probably getting uh, very busy. So, um, so definitely it's going to open up some new opportunities, but really the burden for the tech companies are pretty enormous. Mm.